Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today, I'm gonna show you how to fix a derpy microscope head. All right, scenario with me for a second now. We've got two different roads here. A, you just bought your microscope, or B, you've had your microscope for years, but you're coming across the same exact issue. No matter what you do, while you are working, it just seems like your microscope goes out of focus. Everything's seeming loose, it's just getting worse, and you don't really understand why. And it's really starting to impede your work and you can't get anything done. But for some reason, you can't seem to find anything on the internet that says, hey, this is what the issue is. Well, today we're gonna solve that for you and it's really, really simple. So let me go ahead and show you for a second what exactly I'm talking about so you understand. We're gonna go ahead and jump over to the microscope. We're out of focus right now, but let's just say, There we go. So we're in focus, we're ready to work. I'm about to let go here and we're gonna grab our you know, soldering iron or whatever it is. But by the time we get to the soldering iron and we get back over here, it seems like everything's starting to go out of focus. In fact, it's getting worse and worse and worse. What the heck's the deal, Justin? Well, fortunately this is a very, very simple fix, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out. I don't know if I can pull it out anymore. No, that's about as far as it goes. Uh, you can see though. So we've got two different turn knobs here. One being the actual zoom and one being the fine focus. Okay. So now I move up the fine focus and that's what, you know, that's where we're normally at when we're about to be focused in and dialed in and everything. And we're going to let go. Well, do you see that? It's moving on its own. And you're thinking, Justin, I already know this. I, that's why we're here. It doesn't work, it keeps moving on its own. How do I fix it? Super simple, check this out. We're gonna go ahead and move it back up just so you can see here. And we're gonna put it at the very top here so you can see what I'm about to tell you is gonna fix the problem. You see I'm holding it with the other side. You can see the same knob on both sides. It's like the same here. I hold it, it doesn't go anywhere, okay? But what does this say? This says tension, okay? So I'm holding the other side and I'm going to turn this one while I'm holding the other one still and you're gonna see it's gonna get tighter and tighter. Now I'm gonna let go. How about that? No more droopy scope. It was that simple. So anyway, I really hope you learned something from this video today. If you liked what you saw, boom, jump down there, hit the like button. If you're not already subscribed yet, psh, perfect time to do it right now. And if you're about to subscribe, do me another favor, hit that notification bell. That way you know every single time I put something out. So. Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Don't forget, guys, if you're interested in any of the tools I use, check out the description below. I even have my own custom tools that I sell down there as well that literally do not exist anywhere else on the planet except from the art of repair. I also have a Patreon where you can help support the channel so I can create even better high-quality content.